What's going on, everybody? So I just wanted to take a look today at a radio that I've been using for a little while. Uh, if you watched my Soto winter loadout video, you saw this radio in it. Um, I've been playing with this for a little while, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on it. Um, this is the Ocean KG UV 9PX Plus. Uh, I got this radio from uh, Better Safe Radio. Uh, full disclosure, I did get a discount on this radio. I did pay for it, um, but I did not pay full price. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there ahead of time just so that everybody was aware that's the case. Uh, I have had for quite a while this uh, KG UV 9G from Better Safe Radio as a GMRS radio. And that tends to be the GMRS radio I use the most probably. Uh, and I, I really like this radio, but there were some things about it that that I didn't like so much. And most of those issues have been fixed with this radio. This is the ham version. This is the GMRS version. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about this radio, my thoughts on it, some of the features, some of the specs, um, and whether I think it's worth the money or not. So right out of the gate, let me just say that these radios are not cheap. Uh, compared to most of your uh, Chinese radios, this thing is very expensive. Uh, this is like uh, 175 bucks, I think. Um, you know, so, you know, compare that to like a, a Baofeng or a you know, a, a Redibus radio or, a, you know, something like that or a Radioddy radio there. This is going to be a lot more expensive. However, it is a much, much better radio. Um, so let, let's talk a little bit about some of the things about this KGUV9G that I didn't like and how they fixed it in this radio. And then, like I said, we'll talk a little bit about some specs and some features. Uh, so let me turn these guys on so you can see what the screens look like. It may be... A little washed out in the camera, but that's okay. Uh, so the GMRS version, you're stuck with this white background with blue text kind of setup. Um, it's it's legible in uh, non-direct sunlight, but in direct sunlight, this screen is darn near impossible to read. Uh, that's one of the big issues with this radio is the screen in sunlight is very hard to read. Now this radio, all right, you can see right now I've got it set up with a black background with white text. I can change this to a black background with yellow text, black background with red text. I can go back to that white background. So I've got a lot of other background options that give me more contrast. And, and this is the big thing, right? This screen is substantially brighter. Now I have it turned down because I'm inside right now, um, but this screen is substantially brighter than the, uh, than the old model. All right. It's, um, it's like, a thousand nits roughly all right um the old one is much less bright this thing turned up all the way is fully legible in the sun this is not okay so that's one big thing now these color screens are never going to be as good as you know like the just the sort of lcd monochrome screens you get on you know like a like a, a you know a uv5r or a, a ft65 or something like that right these are never going to be as legible in direct light uh, but that's that's one thing that they definitely fixed with this radio. Uh, another thing that they fixed with this radio is on the GMRS version, uh, there is a parasitic draw. So this radio over time will draw the battery down. And it's not like immediate, but if you let it sit for a month or two, the battery will be halfway dead. Um, they fixed that parasitic draw with the new radios. So that's really not an issue anymore. Um, so that's something you got to consider if you've got one of these older radios and you let it sit all the time, I'd recommend you take the battery off so that it's not draining the battery. That's not really an issue with the new radio. Um, another thing is the knobs are much stiffer on this new radio than they are on the old radio. Now I put O-rings underneath these knobs to stiffen them up a little bit, um, but it's much less easy to bump the knobs and turn them when they're a little stiffer, All right? So that, that's another thing that, that I really like about it. Um, but aside from that, they're, they're essentially the same radio. I mean, there are a few minor differences. The LED is brighter if you use the flashlight. I really don't use the flashlight on radios, but you know, it's there. Um, but aside from that, they're essentially very similar radios. So let me get the GMRS version out of here. And so <clears throat> this radio, um, it, it's got a lot of features that are really nice. It's got a fairly big battery. It's 2,200 milliamp hours. It's USB-C charging. 
which I approve of. You can also charge it in a cradle. In fact, that's the cradle for this radio back there. That's actually a cradle that came with the GMRS version. If you buy the new ones, they don't come with a charging cradle. They come with a wall wart and a uh, USB-C to USB-C cable. It's an, uh, I think it's an, it's an anchor cable. It's a high quality cable. It's not some junk cable. It comes with a good wall wart and a good charging cable. Uh, you know, it's not one of those $2 Baofeng ones. It's, it's a, it's a good cable and it's a good, uh, charging block. Sorry about that. I don't think you hear the train in the background. Sorry about that. Um, so that's another big thing. All right. Um, these radios have 999 channels. If you buy one of these, I think the only place you can get these is from Better Safe Radio. They come pre-programmed with, uh, it's like 800 plus channels. Up There's all sorts of stuff on there. It comes programmed with, you know, all the GMRS and MERS and that kind of stuff, as well as your, your public safety type stuff, all your interoperability channels, um, railroad channel. It comes with all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can find the full list of programming at Better Safe Radio's website. Um, they have a list of all of the different channel programming. In fact, you can buy a code plug from Better Safe Radio to program your radios with these these frequencies. It's all the interoperability frequencies and some other things. It's it's a, it's very comprehensive. Um, these come pre-programmed with all sorts of stuff. This particular radio is 10 watts on high, 5 watts on medium, and 2 watts on low. Um, this radio, the GMRS version is not, right? This is going to be limited to about five watts on high because that's, that's GMRS regulations on an AHT. Um, it, it's got all sorts of other options as far as things like, um, you know, you, you can, you can, um, it'll do simultaneous dual receive. So it'll receive on both VFOs at the same time. Now it is advertised as full duplex. It is not, all right? If I, if I, I'm listening on one frequency and I try to transmit on the other, the other one goes deaf, right? So it's not a full, oops, somebody just keyed up on the repeater. It is not a true full duplex radio, but it will dual receive at the same time. I can listen to both frequencies at the same time. Um, so it, it does have that option, all right? Um, it will do cross-band repeat. Uh, it does all sorts of different things. Um, the... The list of options on this radio or, you know, uh, specifications on this radio is very, very extensive. If you want to take a look at it, you can look on Better Safe Radio's website. You know, if you look at the box, you know, it just shows some of the things, right? So it's um, true dual receive, dual scanning, obviously repeater capable. It does have a VFO. It's front panel programmable. You can program this radio with the front panel, with uh, Wotion's programming software or Chirp. Like I said, it's got multiple display modes, priority channel, quick jump. It'll receive a whole bunch of stuff, including uh, one and a quarter, like 220. It won't transmit on 220, but it will receive 220. Um, it, it, you know, like I said, it's a it's a double two double conversion super hat receivers. The receivers are pretty good. We'll talk about receiver quality in a minute. It'll receive on seven bands, including air band, FM radio, NOAA weather radio, all of those kinds of things. So you can see it'll transmit on two meters and 70 centimeters. And then here's all the different frequency ranges that it will receive on. All right. Um, it is it is a, a pretty capable radio. Uh, it is IP55, so it's not super waterproof, but, you know, if it gets wet, it's not going to kill it or anything like that. Um, so it, 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 another thing I can say about this radio is the audio is quite good and it is very loud. Um, that tends to be an issue with some radios. This one, that is not the case. Um, this thing, like I said, will transmit two meters and 70 centimeters, but it will receive all sorts of stuff within the UHF and VHF spectrum. Um, now let's talk a little bit about user interface and things like that. So if you have ever used any of these sort of, uh, Asian radios, um, you know, you've got a menu structure that's fairly similar. So if I click menu, you'll see it comes up and I can scroll through my options, you know, transmit power, shift direction, Vox, squelch level, Roger beep, talk, you know, talk, the talk timers, all of that kind of stuff. The menu language, busy channel lockout. You can set your CTCSS, DCS tones from in here. Uh, you know, you can do all sorts of stuff from in here, um, including things like I said, you can change the screen, uh, format the theme 
right? We can, you know, you can enter, you can actually enter alphanumeric channels directly from, you can name the channels from the front panel, which is nice. Some writings you can't do that on. Uh, but it's a fairly straightforward menu structure. You know, it's pretty, pretty simple to figure out. Um, you know, if we scroll through all those different options, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, we get back to, you can see there's all sorts of things in here. We'll get back to our one, which is our, uh, this is our beginning of our menu structure. So um, you can listen to two channels at once, or you can, if you want to do just one, all right, you can, if you're one of those people that doesn't want to have two uh, VFOs or two frequencies list, uh, listening at the same time, you can turn one off. Um, I can select which one is the main band. So you'll see it says main right there. So right now, this is my main receiver. This is my sub receiver. And I can switch that back and forth if I hit band. You can see now the top one is. Now, those correspond to our push to talks also. So whichever one is on main is going to use the main push to talk. Whichever one is your sub is going to use this top push to talk. Okay, so I can key up on the two separate frequencies using those two separate buttons if I want to. Uh, the other buttons on the side, if I push this guy, you'll see that opens the squelch so we can listen. A long press turns on a stopwatch. How useful that is is up to you. Um, the top button here, if I short press, it's going to turn on our FM radio. All right. Um, you can see it's scanning through channels right now. And now you can hear that it's on. We can turn that off. You can also, once you're in the FM radio, you can hit this guy. You can hit the number button. And then you can scroll through. So, like, let's go to 89.3. see if it'll go. Yep. All right, now we're on a different different frequency. You can hit the, hit the number button, and you can enter your frequencies in here. And you can see I can turn the... Via phone, or I'm sorry, the uh, channel selection knob to change those frequencies. So we'll turn that guy off by long press. That turns on our flashlight. The flashlight is fairly bright on this radio, although, like I said, how useful that is is kind of up to you. Um, so it does have your standard Kenwood jack, and it will take like a normal, you know, Balfang type programming cable. Uh, Ocean does sell their own, which is a pretty nice cable. Um, all in all, this radio is pretty nice. Um, it's built well. The build quality is good. I like how it feels in my hand. Um, the options are good. The receive quality is good. Now, one thing I will say about this radio is I don't think the receivers are quite as sensitive as, say, my, my Yacy radios. In fact, let me grab my FT60. Hold on one second. So, you know, this is obviously not a fair comparison because this FT60 probably has the best receiver in any HT you're ever going to find. But, you know, this guy will be... An S9, full quieting, this guy might only be like an S6 or an S7 on the same signal. Okay, so that's something to consider. Now, one thing I will say about the Ocean Radio as opposed to the, the Yaesu Radio is the knobs are in the correct place. So on the Yaesu Radio, this is my channel or frequency knob, and this is my volume on-off knob, which drives me crazy because the one I want to use the most, you know, I'm going to be adjusting volume a lot more than I'm going to be adjusting frequency. This radio, it's a pain in the butt because it's in the middle. It's in between the antenna and the frequency knob. This radio, my volume knob is on the outside so I can turn it very easily, which I think is the way it should be. That's one thing I don't like about the FT60. Um, but all in all, this radio is really nice. Now, um, there are a few things about it that, that you might not like. Uh, it is fairly big and fairly heavy. I mean, it's here's the FT60 again, and, and the FT60 is a big, heavy radio. All right, you can see, you know, they're comparable in size and they're probably comparable in weight too even though the ft60 is metal the ft60 is heavier um, but only marginally so uh, so it is a little big and heavy like i said i'm not sure the receiver sensitivity is quite as good as some of your higher end radios um but other than that all in all this is a fantastic radio i really have no complaints about it i've been using it as sort of as my primary ht for the past i don't know month and a half two months something like that just to kind of get a feel for it and overall, I'm, I'm really pretty impressed with this radio. Um, I think that Better Safe Radio has done a really good job at finding radios that fit their niche, doing good programming. Uh, it's got a good feature set. It's got a good option set. Um, like I said, it is not the cheapest radio out there, uh, but it does, uh, it does all of the things that you would want an HT to do. 
Now, one thing I didn't mention is this is available in two colors. It's available in black and it's also available in like a bright yellow color. So if you're looking for something that's a little easier to spot, say if you drop it or something, you can get it in yellow as well. Um, so, you know, real quick, we'll just kind of scroll through some of the different programming in here. So if I, these are just local repeaters I programmed in here, but if I scroll through, you can see there's all sorts of stuff in here. There's going to be, there's hundreds and hundreds of channels, U.S. Coast Guard, you know, there's, these are all ham repeaters, common ham repeater frequencies, um, International Space Station, Russian Satellite, Walmart, U.S. Air Force stuff, you know, United Airlines. These are all your, your uh, NTSB stuff. Somebody just keyed up on that repeater. Um, there's, I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of channels in here for all sorts of stuff. And like I said, those are all listed. If you look at the list that Better Safe Radio sends or that you can get on their website, It'll tell you what all these different frequencies are. Uh, when you scan, and let me, I'll keep scrolling. You can see there's, you know, ICE, Coast Guard, U.S. Marshals. These are all the interoperability channels. It's not like you're going to get on this and listen to the U.S. Marshals unless, we're, you know, they're working interoperability. Um, but there's all sorts of stuff in here. So if I go like, you know, all the GMRS stuff is in here. And if I keep scrolling backwards, you'll see we've got like our NOAA weather radio. All right, so all of those things are in here as well. Um, so yeah, it's it's a it's a really nice package. It's a well built radio. It comes with good programming. It's got a good feature set. Um, all in all, I'm pretty impressed with this radio. Um, I would have no qualms spending the full price on this radio. And the, the discount I got on it wasn't massive. It was you know I don't know. It wasn't very much. Maybe twenty bucks. I don't even know if it was that much. Um, but. Like I said, this this radio is is very nice. I like how it feels in my hand. I like the feature set. I like the knob placement. Uh, I like pretty much everything about it. Like I said, the only the only real drawbacks are you know you've got a color display, which is kind of the way radios are going. Which in the sun is not going to be as legible. Although, like I said, this one goes really bright. Uh, it is a little bigger and heavier than some of the other radios out there. And like I said, I don't think the receiver is quite as sensitive as especially some of your higher end radios. But all in all, you know, for what you're getting, I think this is a pretty compelling package. So thank you, Better Safe Radio, for giving me the opportunity to take a look at this radio. I really do appreciate it. Um, if anybody's got any questions about the radio, feel, to, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them. Again, I haven't covered everything this radio can do. There's a lot of features. If you look on the website, I'll put a link to the radio in the description below. Um, I'll throw an affiliate link in there as well. Um, you... You can, uh, you can take a look at the full feature set on all those things on there as well. Um, so if you're looking for a kind of well-rounded radio that can do all of the things with great programming and a good feature set, you might want to take a look at this radio. And, and take a look at the other radios he's got on the website as well. There's a lot of different radios and a lot of different broad budgets. He's got both ham and GMRS on there. Um, so, you know, it, it's kind of, it's kind of, he's kind of got a lot of different options depending on how much you're looking to spend, what feature sets you want, what service you want, things like that. So like I said, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, if you've got any questions, go ahead and feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, until next time, as always, 73.